Hello. So this is day six of my um, video logging or whatever it's called. And day two of my meditation habit that I um, just started yesterday. And I uh, also have been doing, although it wasn't something I intentionally um, made any type of vow to do, but I've been trying to get up and run three miles before I do anything else. So I get up in the morning and just go and try to hit get outside before it gets too hot. Um, and so that's why you always see me in my lovely, as promised, uh, yoga attire, although I guess you can't see all of it. Anyway, so I guess that's another um, habit that I'm going to help um, this video to hold me accountable for. Um, so meditating and running. Um, so anyway, yesterday I <clears throat> went, um, I meditated for an hour and um, you know, if the, for those of you that have tried meditating or, um, uh, or, or, you know, don't think it works or have tried it and loved it or, you know, whatever your situation is or your uh, viewpoint of meditation is, um, meditation is one of those things I feel like people think that it's this, um, thing only for people that can calm their minds down or, um, you know, are, I don't know, maybe more mellow or something. Um, if you know me, I'm, I'm not, and I have a crazy busy mind. Like my mind is going 24 seven, always thinking, always creating, always overanalyzing everything. And so, um, when I first did my first 10 day silent meditation retreat, all my friends were like, how are you going to keep silent for 10 days? And that wasn't the hardest part at all. The hardest part was being alone with my mind for 10 days. Uh, and the sitting part, because you sit for long, long days. Um, but that was part of, that was part of the, like, challenge, um, of meditating and focusing on, um, my body. And so there are different ways to meditate. And so don't write it off. If you're, if you think you might be open to it, don't write it off because you learned one way. There are lots of different ways. The way that I meditate is, um, and again, I just got into this and just started again yesterday. So I'm just starting with focusing on my breath and just focusing right here. Um, which is the Vipassana, uh, Vipassana style meditation. Um, you can learn more about it at uh, dhamma.org, dharma.org. I'll post the link below. But anyway, um, and I'm, whatever what way works for you is great. Um, I've been, yesterday and today, since I'm just getting back into it, I'm allowing myself a lot of freedom so that I don't get discouraged and so, for example, I definitely nodded off a few times yesterday, and I, I, I remember joking at one of the 10-day um, silent meditation retreats that, that really all they teach you is how to sleep sitting up. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, I definitely did that a bunch of times, and, uh, and I think I made it through, like, 50, 50 minutes, um, out of the hour, so I had another 10 minutes left, and I think I, I, I napped that last bit. I think I'm going to start calling it, like, napitating, <laughs> because meta-napping sounds weird, but I like napitating. <laughs> so, um, but I, I did have, when I, which I didn't expect to have, this really great idea. So, um, if you've been watching my videos, you know that I'm, um, I have a part-time job right now, but it's not enough to sustain my bills, and so... Um, I'm also a life coach and I've been trying to think about how I want to put the word out to get more clients um, because social media is great um, at the same time it's not uh, necessarily the way that I want to push or, or what I think will be very successful and I also want to get better and so I'm kind of willing to offer my services at a lower rate for now to get more clients in and to, for me to get practice and so I had this idea of going on Groupon and posting myself on Groupon. Um, so I put on Facebook and I asked if people still use Groupon because I know I used to use it all the time, like for years and years and years. And then, you know, ever since Gmail started, thank you Gmail for doing this, putting stuff in other tabs, I don't check those other tabs, which has made my life a lot less stressful. But then I don't get like the Groupon emails because they're going into like promotions or whatever. And so, uh, so... I just, and people have responded that they still use it. And, um, so anyway, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to go on and see if I can, um, and knowing that very well that I will not get, you know, little to no money. Cause I know that when people post services on Groupon, they get like almost no money. Like Groupon takes at least half. I've heard that. Anyway, I have to look into it. So, um, so that's what I 
that's what came of my meditation sit yesterday. And, um, I think I went off a little tangent there, but, um, but I did allow thoughts to come in and I, and like, I heard one person talk about that once and said, like, if a thought comes in, you know, instead of resisting it or pushing it away, tell it, thank you. Like, thank you. Thank you for sharing that with me. And then allowing it to just float away. Like I actually have like a visual visualization that when a thought comes in, I'll be like, thank you for the thought. And then I like imagine it like floating away. Um, and since I'm just trying to get back into meditation, even that didn't work. So I kind of just let my brain sort of roll. And then every time I noticed that my brain was going, I would just come back to focusing right here again and focusing on breathing in and breathing out. And it's, it's the sensation, focusing on the sensation right underneath your nostrils. And so, and I love that. I think it was, uh, Eckhart Tolle that wrote, I think it was in a new earth that he said basically that, um, if you ever want to like, live in the present moment, um, and you know that you're, you become aware that you're not in the present. He said, all you have to do is focus on your breath and immediately you're back in the present moment. And I like that because it, it gave me some, like, I felt like, I felt like, I feel like sometimes when I want to live in the moment and live in the present that I'm powerless against where my brain will take me and my ego goes. So I loved that statement because I was, because now I feel like, okay, well, every time I'm not in the moment, I can just be like, and I can think about my breath, breathe, taking a really deep breath. And then I, because I'm focusing on what I'm doing right now, which is breathing, I'm in the moment again. And I have that power to always bring myself back because it's so easy to get distracted, especially for me. So anyway, um, so when I meditated yesterday and today, I just made sure that I brought back, like every time I noticed my brain was like often a million stories. Like I, I think I, created 12 books in that, (laughs) in that time. Um, I just would always bring it back and just think about my breath again. So, um, so yeah, so that was my experience. Um, and today I did a little bit better, whatever better means, but I was able to, um, sit for still an hour and then, um, I felt like I was able to stay a little more present and a little bit more awake. Um, but I think me- med no wait, napitating, I think napitating might become a thing after I meditate because my body's already so relaxed. I'm like, I just want to nap now. But, um, that can only happen on the weekends because then I have a job. So hopefully I'll be meditating earlier this week before I start my job, before I start work. And, um, I'll, we'll see how that goes. I don't know. I don't know how to fit in, like, running and then cooking and then napping. I, I sound, wow, like really I should be able to fit those three things in. It's not that difficult. I don't have kids and I'm single. (laughs) So it shouldn't be that difficult. Anyway, um, (laughs) first world problems. So yeah, so that's my experience. And it, like I said, I had this great idea that came of it yesterday and today I had a couple other ideas on, um, kind of, I, I, was grounding myself a little bit more in like the life that I want to live and that I really hate paying rent. I don't want to pay rent because I want to, I'd rather like work to pay rent. Uh, not like that. Not like the traditional way. Like I'd rather, um, manage somebody's property or Airbnb or something to in in return, in exchange for rent. Um, because managing all that communication and, um, and then turning the room over, making sure it's clean, and um, then dealing with some of the crazies, <laughs> which there aren't many, but they but they do sometimes trump all the rest of the people. No pun intended. So anyway, um, yeah. So well, that's so I did started creating that idea today, and it was interesting. It's interesting because I do struggle with meditation is supposed to be clearing my mind, um, but at the same time, like I said, I'm just allowing the thoughts to come in, and um, and then and then not attaching to them and then refocusing on my breath. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm sure that will change and warp the more that I do it. And, um, the more I sit. All right. Well, this is day six and thank you for watching and have a good Sunday. If it's Sunday, if you're watching it today, you're probably not after this, after today. So like a one in seven chance that you're watching this on a Sunday. Okay, bye.